Hi, I'm Darren Thomas, Head of Highways and Construction at the Pembrokeshire County Council. Uh, the snow's cleared away now, but your team is facing difficult conditions uh, over the weekend. How did, uh, how did you meet that challenge? Well, in advance of the weather coming in, we had weather forecasts and we started to plan for uh, our deployment of our winter maintenance, maintenance resources. And then uh, in the afternoon of the Thursday, which is when the snow was coming in, um, we made some uh, pre-planned closures of schools so the, the children went home early to make sure that uh, the roads were clear and that people could get home safely. Uh, and then our winter maintenance action in terms of critting of routes kicked in and then pretty much from Thursday afternoon right through until uh, Saturday we were on a 24 hour operation in terms of uh, clearing the roads or keeping the roads clear as much as we could. So how many miles of roads did you actually clear and uh, how many tonnes of salt were, were used? Well uh, in terms of the um, primary routes that covers a network of just over about 600 kilometres so we must have been doing those two or three times at least but then we also had um, reactive treatments moving on to the secondary routes. Um, I had feedback that on Saturday our Willy Bush barn used over 400 tonnes of salt in, in one day so um, quite a significant amount of resource. Um, we, we've got just about 4,000 tonnes left uh, which is pretty good for this time of year because fortunately it's it's, uh, it's early March. Uh, we normally start the season with just over 8,000 tonnes. Um, so in one day you can see we've used an awful lot of salt just in one day. From, and we've got three barns all together. So in terms of resources, it was quite a, a labour intensive exercise. How many members of your team were, were on board during those uh, 36 or 48 hours? And were there any times where you thought that you weren't going to be able to cope with the conditions that were thrown at you? In terms of the winter maintenance routes, uh, we've got the, ple the, the, the planned routes uh, and we've got some spare gritters. Um, when we have the ploughs on, we also have to what's called double man them. So there were two people in the cabs. Um, the drivers as well all restricted by driver's hours. So because we knew the weather was coming, we planned out all the driver's hours and providing the mates for the drivers. So with our um, planned routes and the trunk road routes, we were looking at um, 10 routes that we were manning 24 hours a day, um, double with two shifts. Um, so that's you know two people in each lorry, plus we were using spare lorries as well because of the volume. Um, that's on the winter maintenance side. We also had the supervisors as well in each of the barns. So that's another three members of staff, plus loaders to load the gritting lorries. And then behind that, in terms of the back office arrangements, we've got a uh, duty officer who's monitoring the weather forecast. Um, that's all on the winter maintenance operation. In the days then when we had the snow, we were also, so in Friday when there was no uh, rubbish collection, some of the environmental uh, operatives who weren't able to go out on their uh, rubbish collection duties, they came in and they were starting to do some reactive gritting of footways. So there was more resource being deployed there. Um, on the transport side, although we'd lost all of the, um, we closed down these services in terms of day centres and some of the social services transport, we were still using some of the um, uh, people from the transport team here to drive some of the 4 by 4s and provide input from that point of view. And in the, the snow sort of cleared away as quickly as it came really, has it left any lasting damage to any of our routes? We're assessing that at the moment. I uh, haven't had, in terms of condition of highway, we haven't had feedback but, uh, today. But what we are anticipating is some issues in terms of pothole formation because of the freeze thaw formation. Um, and we will be assessing that further. So, in terms of people who want to report that, go through our reporting mechanisms online or through our call centre, please, to report that. Um, a, a bit of an issue which we weren't expecting is that there was also a high tide and stormy conditions, stormy conditions over the weekend and we've had some coastal damage as well. So we're, at the moment we're aware of damage in Amroth which we're assessing. Uh, there was some overtopping in uh, uh, Parog in Fishguard and also some damage in Kumaregois. So we're, we're looking at all of that at the moment so it's slightly unexpected because the focus was on snow but we've also had some coastal defence damage as well.